Hello everybody to a brand new BS episode, episode 15. In this video, I cannot believe I am making. Today is December 14th, and it got announced that the Fantastic Four and the X-Men are now both in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which means they have every property they can use. Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Avengers, Defenders, and the X-Men. And some others like Inhumans and Guardians of the Galaxy. But they also fall under Avengers I think right now. So I made sure to kind of talk about what I think about the future of these movies. And how excited I am and what could happen and my little ideas for it. So the first thing we're all thinking about is the villains. After Avengers 3, Thanos will probably be done for in Avengers 4. Probably Michael... I'm saying... uh. Michael Korvac, oh my gosh, I forgot his name, but Korvac is going to be the villain of that movie, I think. And next villains, they could have so many um, Avengers villains like Juggernaut. Okay, sure, he wouldn't be an Avengers villain for a whole movie. There's definitely a big bad that they could have. Obviously Galactus, there's obviously Doctor Doom, Apocalypse. I would love to see Apocalypse once again. I have not seen this online at all, so... Um, yeah, Annihilus, I think he was an idea brought up recently. And yeah, these are some villains who I love. Obviously, there's a bunch more they could do, a bunch more ideas, which I'm going to get into also in this video. Obviously, there's the stuff about Deadpool. He is still going to be rated R. I cannot wait. And if he teams up with Spider-Man... Especially this movie's version of Spider-Man or this uh, movie universe's version of Spider-Man. I would love it. I know I'm not that big of a fan of Tom Holland's Spider-Man right now. But, you know, him with Deadpool, that would be perfect, I think. So probably the biggest and best news is that the Fantastic Four got put into the universe also. I love the Fantastic Four, and I've said that before, so I am not a hypocrite. And, and, and almost in so much of my past videos, I've said that I would love to see the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man team up in the movie and now they can like this is probably the best thing I would want them to do for a movie like that Spider-Man the Fantastic Four versus the Frightful Four with two Spider-Man villains and two X-Men villains um I probably will be reviewing this comic sometime it's actually a two-parter but yeah it's the Battle Royale with the Fantastic Four obviously they're gonna recast them all but I cannot wait. I cannot imagine. They're probably going to fight Doctor Doom or maybe Mole Man. So this brings up some ideas and things that I have to say. Actually, let me go back. So when it comes to the villains, I am going to be reviewing the Fantastic Four comics a lot earlier than I thought I would be on my other channel, The Real Super Sam. So check that out. I'll give that video a like and subscribe. I've already uploaded some things on there. So yeah. Alright, on with the crazy good happy news. So first off, Hugh Jackman, before he made the movie, Logan said that he would return as Wolverine if the X-Men were in the in the Avengers universe. And now they are. So this brings up the idea of him actually returning. It's a completely different universe. I don't know if they're going to reboot the X-Men completely. I don't think they are. But if they are, I would assume that he would return for a Wolverine role. And if they do not, so I still think this a little bit. I still hope it that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is in the X-Men universe. The X-Men universe that's even up to this day. They never exactly said that they retconned it so that it wouldn't be. I know it never was. He was never in one of the X-Men movies and the X-Men were never one in the Spider-Man Tobey Maguire trilogy. But let's say they do keep it, then maybe Spider-Man... Toby McGuire could come back. So either way, I have a pretty good hope, or not hope, but kind of good idea that how to bring these two, well, at least one back in the character, back in the acting. And I would love to see Toby McGuire return as Spider-Man, maybe because of what Thanos does in the third movie, or the fourth movie, what Michael Korvac does. His name is Michael Korvac. Hmm. So it is amazing to think that in 2018 end of 2017 i'm saying 2018 it's close enough we have the avengers spider-man x-men the fantastic four the defenders the inhumans and probably the Submariner is going to be in the universe also now which is uh, in iron man 2 we saw the Submariner's home atlantis on a map and they begin references to him back then and now 
you could be in it. So that is one amazing thing that's happened today. One thing I want to say is the X-Men TV show, The Gifted, on Fox. It's very good, actually. Um, Baron Strucker. So there was a rumor before this happened that Baron Strucker is the dad and that the two kids are the Ferris twins, the villains. Like, they hold their hands exactly like they're doing the picture below. I actually have that comic with that picture in it. I think that could exactly be it. Maybe something happens and with the time stone and Loki does something. I don't know. But I would love if this TV show is in the MCU. I think it's better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's probably the best Marvel TV show that's not Daredevil, actually. Probably, I think it might be better than The Defenders. I really like the all the characters. I really like the agent guy in the background who's going after them. As a Magneto's daughter or female clone, whatever they're going with. I think it's her daughter in this version, Polaris. So, yeah. Next year is going to be a big year when it comes to Marvel and DC. And I saw this picture and I saw that Fantastic Four and X-Men were in the picture. And I just had to put this in. And DC with their multiverse of having Watchmen and the CW TV shows and the Dark Knight trilogy and the Injustice games. Oh, I cannot wait for 2018. So that is all right now. Please remember to like and subscribe. And have a good day.